Hello everyone and welcome to another ACY Securities video. My name is Alastair Schultz and I'm going to be host for today's trading journey. Generally speaking, in today's video, I'm looking a little bit at the sentiment side of the market. We've had a pretty topsy-turvy Monday and Tuesday so far, and I'm sure some of you are wondering what's actually going on in markets. Why are we seeing tech down? Why are we seeing gold down? And why are we seeing the yields rise again? There's a variety of different things that have really been going on behind the scenes. And the great rotation, as I like to call it, has investors looking towards those cyclical style stocks. So we're seeing banking and finance sectors going up. We're seeing the minerals and mining going up. And we're also seeing material sectors increasing in value. In fact, if we look at the Dow Jones and then compare it to the NASDAQ, it's probably the first time since about 1993 that we've had both of those markets diverge so far apart. Right now, the Dow Jones is sitting within 1% of an all-time high after making an all-time high just in the last couple of days. We've now also seen the NASDAQ down 11% from its own all-time high, down probably 2.9% or so in the last 24 hours. So what's really going on behind the scenes? As investors are growing in optimism and yields are starting to rise about the restart or the recovery of the economy, we're starting to see people moving the shift of their cash flow into areas that they feel are going to increase. So naturally, that means that those work from home stocks that have really been supporting us all for the last year are starting to see a little bit of turbulence, a little bit more volatility, and are starting to pull back a little bit and move into some of those markets that we might not have been dealing with or have been neglected over the last year or so. So don't stress too much about your positions. Bear in mind that there are still good tech companies out there that will be able to prevail. And I like to think of the idea of those industries, those innovations that we were dealing with before the pandemic occurred are likely to continue once we are fully recovered in our economic stances. So from that meaning that we will be looking at tech companies in the future, but right this very second, it's all about the great rotation.